The sumo deadlift is today's uh, strength-based hip dominant movement. Uh, sumo deadlift is an excellent exercise for developing strength and tension control through the entire posterior chain. The reason I like the sumo deadlift is because uh, it suits a lot more people uh, as opposed to a conventional deadlift and also it takes our feet wider, gets our abductors firing and our hip rotators firing. Uh, particularly good for those taller lifters that struggle to get into a good position with a conventional deadlift also. So the setup for the uh, sumo deadlift is I'm going to step in nice and close to the bar. This is important. This, uh, my, my, my shins are essentially touching the bar. This forces me to drive my hips back so I can load that posterior chain, right? I don't want to drive my knees forward and make a knee dominant movement. So again, stepping close to the bar, I'm going to grip screw through the feet. Watch my knees, they drive out. I build the arches of my feet. Then I'm gonna drive my hips back. My shins stay vertical here. Hands come shoulder width inside the bar, uh, sorry, inside my, my knees. From here, I'm loaded through the hips, my spine's aligned. What I want to do now is create tension and control and stability through my shoulders. Yes, lower body dominant movement, but I want to get my upper body firing as well. I'm going to grip screw, boom. Watch what happens to the eyes of my elbows. As soon as I grip screw, now my lats are on. Okay, I'm creating that stability through the shoulders. It tells my brain I'm in a good, safe, strong, uh, comfortable position. Upregulate force through the entire body. So again, step in close. Drive those knees out, hips go back, hands come down, a roundabout shoulder width. I'm going to create tension torque through the hips, tension torque through the shoulders. Boom, now I'm on. I take a deep breath. Stand taller, either breathe at the top or the bottom. I personally prefer to breathe at the top because it allows me to maintain tension in that bottom position. <sighs> Common issue I see with the, any type of deadlift is people are overextending through the lumbar. I don't want to do this, I'm going to start loading up my lumbar spine. What do I want to do? Boom, drive the hips forward, think about tilting my pelvis. Nice neutral position in the top position, glutes are on. Someone wax me, glutes are tight. When I start getting heavy, I might use the mix grip. This is where one hand's over, one hand's under. If I start favoring this position, it's important to make sure the next set that uh, I switch sides so that I don't start creating any imbalances. Which brings me to my next point. When you're doing this movement, pay attention to what's happening. All right, it's a hip dominant movement. We don't want to squat the movement. I want to create tension through the back, through the shoulders. Pay attention to what's happening with the plates as well. If the plates, one side's coming down before the other, then it means there's probably gonna be an imbalance there, some sort of compensatory pattern. That's sumo deadlift.